Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Expose on January 6, 2016, 8.29 p.m. in Birmingham. Topic, um, Oregon. I'm beginning to have other thoughts about what's going on there. Today, Oath Keepers were silent, not a word. Doug Giles didn't have anything to say about that. and. Um, there's another spokesperson with the Oath Keepers. They didn't have anything to say. And they're not saying anything because they don't know any more today than they did yesterday. I don't believe by what I'm hearing, what I've read, and gone back and read the whole story on their deals in the previous generations of that family and as the same family over in Nevada um, that were run off grazing lands because he didn't pay millions of dollars to the federal government. They've never paid. Do you remember? I remember this well. We had a drought. And it was about 1996, 97. And my wife and I had driven from Birmingham. And then we went kind of south until we hit the coast. Traveled all the way through and kept going and, and got up to El Paso. And then we turned and, and went toward the Grand Canyon and stayed along the mountains. But the point is... The government was telling the farmers, the farmers needed help. They needed more hay. They needed more food for their cattle. The government, and if you go back and check this out, you'll see that, that what I'm telling you is true, told them if you need to go up and down the medians of the highways and bale hay, do it. Back then, the government treated us like we were supposed to be treated, like their bosses, and that's who we are. So why the change from right after that time, wasn't long after that, just right after that, when a family, two generations that's been on this farm in Oregon for a long time, Suddenly, there's a beef for the government because they started backfires to stop a forest fire, and they did it several times. It's commonplace to do it. It's commonplace for the government to start backfires that even burns into their grazing lands, but not once did the family ever tell the government, hey, you owe me for doing this, but yet the government out of the blue jumped up and said, you owe us for doing this, and they made them pay. The farmer in Nevada, he didn't have millions to pay. So they took him off and they wouldn't even give him his cattle. What I'm saying here, I believe Oregon today is a staged event. More than anything, I believe it is a staged event. I believe it is playing right into the hands of this man that sat and cried a handful of tears that may, if you try real hard to catch every one, it might fill a thimble. I believe it's a staged event. I believe it's so timely with Obama's BS about guns. They tie too much together, guys. They're tying together too much. For this to be, look, there's no need for militia. There's none. Even when the family tells them, we don't need you. There's no problem. But they come anyway. Oath keepers say, hey, y'all shouldn't be doing that. The family said, please stand down. We did. Why are you going in? That's where I believe it is a staged event. I believe it, more than anything. In that event, 
is, is designed to tie in to Obama's quest today to get your guns because he will point out there and say, look, see what they're doing? <laughs> look, I, I mean, I had to play the devil's advocate here, but when you see every time an event occurs with a black, you have protests, rioting, and more murders. How many times have you seen whites protesting in destruction along its way? How many times have you seen whites rioting? How many times have whites left any protest and had to have even a single person to come in and clean up behind them? You haven't. Never. The black events, you have to have the city to shut down for two days to get everybody on payroll out there picking up the trash they left behind. So the only thing there is we don't muddy the waters. And you should not let muddy water cloud your vision either. That's what we're seeing here. I believe we're seeing a staged event that's in perfect timing with Obama's plea to get your gun. I'm sorry, guys. That's what I feel. And I'll stick with it. Jody Wolf Exposed.